بعد نحو حول حوالي شهر على دخول سقف اسعار النفط الروسي حيز التنفيذ قال المبعوث الامريكي لشؤون الطاقه اموس هوكشتاين في مقابله مع الشرق ان العقوبات المفروضه على قطاع الطاقه الروسيه اسهمت في تراجع الاسعار العالميه واجنبت الدول الاخرى ازمات اقتصاديه متعدده. Look, prices have been fluctuating over the last several weeks, but overall the trajectory of the oil prices has been uh, we had a high of 100, over $120 a barrel, and today we're trading at roughly $80 a barrel for the global price, and in the United States somewhere around $74, $75. So by and large, our goals always were to restrict Putin's access to excessive revenues and profits so that he can use them to um, to execute his horrific war in Ukraine, while at the same time making sure that the rest of the world doesn't suffer from consequences of this war and Putin's actions through high energy prices that translate into higher inflation and lower economic growth. بعد الخلاف مع اوبك بشان خفض الانتاج نفى المبعوث الامريكي للطاقه ان تكون واشنطن اتهمت التحالف بدعم روسيا وايران وقال انه من حق الدول ابداء رايها فيما يتعلق بملف الطاقه مضيفا ان هذه الخلافات لن تؤثر على العلاقه الاستراتيجيه مع السعوديه We have had a long and strategic relationship with uh, uh, with OPEC but we are not a member we have our own views our own analysis uh, we share views sometimes privately sometimes publicly uh, the relationship with Saudi Arabia and the United States is a 80-year-old relationship. It's a strategic relationship. It's an important relationship. It covers enormous amount of issues and topics, and it will continue to be. Uh, we will continue to evaluate the relationship as uh, periodically and methodically so that it addresses our concerns, their concerns, regional concerns, and security threats. Uh, and there is two main buckets of, of threats. One are security and one are economic. Um, we believe that the security threats are very real and we can remain committed to the security of uh, Saudi Arabia and other countries in the region.